The next, uh, the next movement we're going to do is called rocking motion. I love this in China. Uh, well, there's a saying in China that if you do a hundred of these, you're going to live a long life. If you do a thousand of these, you're going to live forever. Uh, I have not reached a thousand, but I've reached a hundred. And let me tell you something, you will feel really good. In China, you see thousands of people doing this in the morning called rocking motion. It's a form of Qigong in itself. And I'm going to demonstrate it. Um, what you do is you just bring your hands up very softly. Their hands are very relaxed. And as you come up, if you can, come up on the balls of your feet. As you're inhaling, you're coming up. Turn your hands over and exhale. And you, as you rock back, you're coming off the heels, on, on, I'm sorry, off the balls of your feet onto the heels, and you're rocking. If you don't want to rock, that's okay. All you do is just come up. It's called rocking motion, right? Sometimes I go backwards. You know, balance-wise. So just stay within, your, stay within your comfort zone. Coming up. And rocking. This is a wonderful, very slowly, soft. You inhale if you can as you come up. Exhale as you come down. And just rock and just take your time. What I visualize in this is like I'm bringing up energy from the earth, like I have something behind me, I just kind of bringing it up, whoa, coming up, and then down, bringing it down. The motions, the hands are very soft and the shoulders, everything's very relaxed when you do this, okay? Very good. Try a couple more. And again, stay in your comfort zone. You know, this may be, if you find uh, a little rough on the knees, that's understandable, okay? What you don't want to do is stiff Qigong, okay? So just check in with yourself and see where you are. And one more, okay? Uh, this uh, this, this, um, this uh, movement is very energy producing works very well with children as well if you want to you know if you're teaching a group of students even older people if you just want to get them moving get the energy flowing again so what happens here is when you do this it activates in the body the relaxation response because think of it this way when you're doing this you're breathing in which is pushing the lymph and the circulating the blood and then you're doing the same thing this movement with the breath activates a very relaxing response I have a question. yes my feet want to go the opposite way. <laughs> okay. Like so, so in other words, Carolyn, you're going this way. They want to go, as you come up, they want to go backwards. Yeah. I suggest, if you can, is, 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 is don't worry about moving like this. It's just move the hands up and, yeah, the arms down like that initially. And then you can work it. Uh, for me, what, the visualization for me has always worked is a wave coming from behind. So it kind of pushes me up and back, okay? All right? Everybody doing all right with that? How's that feel? Good. Feel pretty good? Mm -hmm.